What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power Play with CJ. I apologize for my screw up on the last episode, as as, as it happens, like CNN. But um, let's recap the Downey for Quincy in the first round pick trade, piece by piece. Okay. Tampa sends Steve Downey to Colorado. Then Colorado sends Kyle Quincy to Tampa, who in turn flip him to Detroit, and Detroit's first round pick goes to the Lightning. So, Colorado gets Downey, Detroit gets Kyle Quincy, and the Lightning get a first-round pick. Now, the Lightning will have four second-round picks and two first-round picks. So, uh, in other words, it's a Bill Belichick-type draft. They're going to have a shitload of draft picks and uh, plethora, and, you know, they, Detroit should be low, so you know, while they're playing. So, it's just something to keep in mind but let's uh let's go in detail on the uh on the the down on downey and um and kyle quincy downey this year is a minus 15 which is uncharacteristic of him he's usually a pretty good player in the plus minus department his pims are high per usual uh his third straight season of 100 penalty minutes uh in the nhl which is you know him in a nutshell he uh you know tenacity uh Gets him in trouble sometimes. Gets him in trouble a lot of times. Uh, can hurt his team with uh, bad penalties at inopportune times. But uh, in all, he will help Colorado in the playoff run. He's a restricted free agent at the end of the year. But um, you know, I look for him to have a, a big role going forward. Um, and definitely him and him and Landis Cog on either wing with uh, either Duchesne, Stastny, or Riley. Jesus Christ, can you imagine that offensive creativity and toughness you know it's amazing and uh like i said look for a big part of colorado's success going going forward uh kyle quincy was drafted by the wings in the uh fourth round back in the great 2003 draft and um got lost on waivers to the la kings in 2008 la then flipped him to colorado as part of the ryan smith deal and uh, he's emerged as a pretty good two-way defenseman uh was marred by injuries last year and only played in 21 games but um, this year it's 23 points in 54 games. It's going to be a good um, pickup for Detroit. Uh, they need a forward more than anything with Datsuk being out for two weeks. But, um, you know, it's, it is what it is. I think he's really going to help uh, Detroit in the puck moving department and uh, you know, make it easier. You know, they got a lot of good defensemen. You know, Cron Wall, obviously great Nick Lidstrom, and uh, Ian White's been playing real well. So th those are your top four. It should be uh, pretty good. You know, it's kind of ironic. You know, like, Detroit's system. And uh, he's costing them a first-round pick to reacquire him. But, uh, you know, I really think Tampa got the better men of this deal. You more or less traded Steve Downey for a first-round pick. I mean, come on. You know, uh, even if you don't make the playoffs this year, which, um, you know, is probably going to happen. You know, I understand Tampa's been pushing and uh, been on a, a real hot heater as of late. But, um, you know, I really uh, – it's going to be tough to get in. But they uh, – you know they're gonna need some help and stuff, but I, I either way you're gonna have five picks in the first sixty, uh, five in the first fifth, first sixty picks of the draft. You know that's you know one in twelve picks, one in the Lightning. So um, you know look for they need a goalie. I think Malcolm Subban would be a good fit in Tampa, and I think also um, they are six points out, six points back at Toronto with a game at hand. So they could realistically make the playoffs and then have. Five draft picks in the first 60 of the draft. Like I said, it's a Belichick type thing. You know, they need a defenseman and they need a goalie. So they can get defensemen and a goalie. And they can definitely, even if they make the playoffs, and the pick ends up in the 20s, with the second-round picks, you can trade up and get that goalie, i.e. Malcolm Subban, and uh, get a defenseman. You know, this draft is deep with D. I'd, I'd love to see them get Jacob Truba. I've been following that kid's progress all year with the development team. He's going to be a top 15 pick, maybe top 10. I'd love to see him in a Lightning uniform uh, next to Hedman long term. I really think that would make Tampa um, a bona fide contender for years to come. And to help, in addition to the great forwards, I got obviously Steven Stamkos and, and company. But um, that's it for this episode of the Power Play with CJ on the Detroit, Colorado, Tampa Bay trade. The the pieces going all over the board. I'll, I'll uh, see you guys later. Stay tuned for more episodes throughout the season.